او it's time to worship God it's time to worship God let me pour our hearts to him we sing hallelujah you have won the victory hey, hallelujah you have won it all for Everybody sing hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it. That could not hold you. Sing, you are the reason. You feed it in the mouth. Sing, you are the reason. That could not hold you. You are the reason. You see that in the body. You are the reason. Could not hold you, could not hold him captive, and he is the reason. You are the reason. You see that in my days. Oh, think you are the reason. This is song I love. Say you move mountains, you cause the walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible, and we stand in here. Oh, everybody say you move mountains. You move mountains. You cause the walls. You cause the walls. We power. With your power. We perform miracles. We perform miracles. There is nothing. There is nothing. That's impossible. That's impossible. And we stand in here. One more time. Do you move mountains? You move mountains. It's the God that we serve. What is that for our people from the roof of our head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You perform miracles. There is nothing. There is nothing. That's impossible. That's impossible. And we stand in here. Only because we are there. We give you all. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Somebody sing, we give you all, we give you all. We give you all the glory. We worship you, we worship you. You are worthy. You are worthy to be. Praised. Everybody sing. We give you all. We give you all. We give you all. Oh, 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 oh. All the glory. We worship you. We worship you. You are worthy. You are worthy. 
Sing, we give you all. Sing, we give you all. We give you all. Oh, the glory, oh, the glory, yeah. We worship you. you Lord for your mercy never fail me almighty I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up from this morning until this very moment yeah, I have lived in the goodness of God sing all my life sing all my all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so tired. With every breath, With every breath that I am there, I will sing oh, oh, oh. Sing all oh, my life, sing all oh. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so good. With every breath, every breath that I have made, I will sing. I will sing. All the goodness of God. One more time, sing all my life. Sing all my life. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath, With every breath that I am in. Oh, 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 the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. It did it out. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. Somebody listen. His goodness is running after you. He's running after you. Hey, his goodness is running after. He's running after me. See your goodness, your goodness. Your goodness is running after me. He's running after me. See he's running after me. He's running after me. Running after me. Your goodness is running Your after me. Is running after. Is running after me. Your goodness is running after me. Oh, oh, oh. Your goodness is running after me. Your goodness is running after me. Your goodness is running after me. Is running after me. Your goodness is running after me. Your goodness is running after me. Your goodness is running after me. It's 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 running after me. All my life. All my life. You have been faithful. All my life. He has been faithful. All my life. You have been so loved. Thank you, thank you. Those are awesome, awesome testimonies. You may be seated. God bless you. You may be seated. God bless you all. Powerful. We thank God for what the Lord is doing in your life. 
But I want to teach a new message today called a new season of blessings. A new season of blessing. And I truly believe that we have entered a different cycle, a new season. I truly believe it. And actually, I've been led to share this with you. Let's go to Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. A new season of blessing. In this teaching, we'll be talking about four ways to enter into a new season. A new season of blessing. Isaiah 43. Say, do not remember the former things. Do not remember the former things. Nor consider the things of old. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God Walk in cycle. Please note that. God walk in cycle, and when one cycle is about to end, it means there's a new cycle that is about to begin. Everything on earth has a beginning and an ending time. God Move in cycle. When one is about to end, that means another one is about to start. I truly believe there are many things that God wants to bring into our life this season. I truly believe we are about to enter a new season that we've never experienced before. Mind you, but you got to understand the old one must end. Because if the old one does not end, you cannot enter the new one. That's what the Bible says. Do not remember the former things. All things will hinder you from entering into the new. Do not remember the former things. The former things of all. Do not even consider the whole. God used the whole to prepare you for the new. If you don't get rid of the old, you cannot enter into the new. God always walks in cycle. So when one ends, that means another one is about to start. What is a cycle? A cycle is a period of time that a beginning, there's a beginning and there's an end. Cycle always have a beginning. And it always have an end. They are good cycle and they are bad cycle. Hallelujah. Oh, we are going somewhere. Who originates cycle? Well, we all know that God is the originator of cycle and season. He move in cycle. God move in season. Hallelujah. So when one season is ending, that means a new one is about to start. So God is the originator of cycle in our life. Hallelujah. I'm moving swiftly because there's some places we got to get to today. Amen. Let me ask you, are you ready for the new? Are you ready for the good cycle? Amen. 
He said, but if you are ready, that means you are also ready not to remember the former things. Because the former things got to go. If the former does not go, the new will not come. God will not put new on the hold. He has to first of all, we have to first of all, get rid of the hold. I am ready for new cycle. I am ready for new season. Actually, I'm tired of the whole season. I'm ready to move into the season of blessings. I'm ready to move into the season of favor. I'm ready to move into the season of more than enough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can move from not enough to a season of just enough. And you can move from a season of just enough and move into a season of more than enough. Come on, how many are ready to move to season of more than enough? God has been using your past to prepare you for your future. Great future is coming for you. I believe it. I can say it in the realm of the spirit. And you go back to the past. Even the Lord said, I should tell you, Elder, Elder Martin, Pastor Martin, that the daycare prophecy is not over. God is working on it. Hallelujah. And God is going to do it. Because of your faithfulness. Because of your love for God. When you are giving testimony, my spirit quickly. And God said, eh, it's not over yet. I'm just waiting for the old to be over. So you can move to the new. Come on, somebody say amen. Come on, somebody say amen. Come on, somebody say amen. Come on, somebody say, I'm ready for the new season. I'm ready for the new cycle of blessing, of blessing, more than enough, of blessing, of overflow. I'm moving forward. I'm marching forward. Hallelujah. I'm tired of the whole cycle. I am moving forward. Somebody say, yeah. Yeah. And you will move forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God move in cycle. God move in season. Hallelujah. So we know the originator who originated the cycle. God is the originator of cycle and season. He is the originator of cycle in our life. And God is ready. Now, I don't know if you want to know what activate cycle. Oh, please, I have to slow down for this. What activates a cycle? You can activate your new cycle today if you want to. What activated? Cycle are activated by obedience or disobedience. Cycles are activated by obedience or disobedience to God. When we obey God, we activate a cycle of blessing. When we obey God, we activate a cycle of blessing. When we disobey, we activate a cycle of cause. Blessing is the opposite of cause. Cause is the opposite of blessing. If you obey God, you activate, you move into a new cycle. A new cycle of multiple blessing. But if you disobey, you also move into a new cycle. Of struggle, of action, of problem. But when you obey God, you are responsible to change your cycle. Even though the prophetic word is saying that we are in a new cycle, everlasting life, and enter a new cycle, but it's for those that will obey God. Because everything 
in the kingdom of God is done by precept and principle. Everything is said. Amen? So what activates cycle? Cycles are activated by obedience or disobedience. When you obey, you activate a cycle of blessing. When you disobey, you activate a cycle of course. God wants to bring a new cycle of blessing into our life. I believe it. I know it. I can see it. I can perceive it. I know God has started. Glory to God. Amen. And God will do it. So today, God is giving you an opportunity to choose obedience. When you obey God, obey prophetic word, obey written word of God, I'm telling you, you move into a new cycle. Come on, how many are ready to move to a new cycle? But one of the things we have to know, do not remember the former things. The old things must go. Amen. All things of what? The way we used to take talk after change. Amen. You talk faith. Amen. No doubt. Glory to God. Some things got to change. If there's no change, guess what? There's no new cycle. He said, do not remember the former things. No, the, no consider the things of all. Because if we do so, it will not allow us to activate the new cycle. Because your past will hold you down in your present. Will not allow you to move into the future. I truly believe God has one great future for everybody. I know it that I know that I know that I know. Glory to God. Probably you went through, you are going through for your future. Uh, you hear what I'm saying? But we had to shut the door on yesterday. Now, let's talk. That's the reason I'm moving swiftly. Four ways to enter a new season. There are four ways to enter a new season. The scripture tells us, tell us number one, for the new to come, you must get rid of the whole. I'm preaching. For the new to come, you must, it's a must, get rid of the old. Apostle Paul tells us in Philippians 3.13, he said, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind, forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forward. If you don't forget the things that are behind, those things that are behind will hold you down, not allowing you to move into your future. And our future is great. We have great future ahead of us. But don't allow our past to hold us down. Amen. You got to get rid of your past. Are you hear what I'm saying? He said, reaching forward to those things which are ahead. No new things will manifest if the hold is not gone. No new things can manifest itself until the hold is removed. Please, if you are making note, write it down. If you want to enter the new, in order for new to manifest, I can prophesy it. Another prophet can come and prophesy it. Or apostle can come and prophesy it. I hear what I'm saying. But you have to do what? Get rid of the, for the whole. The whole must go. So no new things can manifest itself until the whole has been removed. The whole have to be removed. To get to your future, 
we must let go of the past. Amen. Come on, church. Come say amen. amen. We must let go of the what? Of the past. Glory to God. Take the old way of thinking. Must go. Old way of what? Thinking. Must go. Think big. Think God. Think the promises of God. Don't think failure. Don't think you cannot do it. You can do it. Remember, we have a collaborator. Holy Spirit is our collaborator. Holy Spirit is going to help us to do it. You, he won't do it for us, but he will collaborate with us. Holy Spirit will direct us. Holy Spirit will teach us. Holy Spirit will empower us. Holy Spirit will lead us. Holy Spirit will instruct us. He won't do it for us. All we need to do is to obey the Holy Spirit. When you obey the Holy Spirit, oh God, I feel the anointing. I thank God for Felicia. She obeyed the Holy Spirit. And I'm here to tell you, you have entered a new cycle. You have entered a cycle of blessing. Hallelujah. Because now you are hearing from the Holy Ghost. Now the Holy Ghost is leading you. Holy Ghost is directing you. Holy Ghost is empowering you. All you need to do is to, walk, is to obey. When you obey, you enter a new cycle. A cycle of blessing. A cycle of favor. Look at how favor followed you. When you obey. If you didn't obey, you will buy your own grocery. Nobody will pay for your grocery. But because you obey, I'm telling you all you need to do to be able to hear from the Holy Ghost and to obey the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout amen. Come on, somebody say, Holy Spirit is my collaborator. Holy Spirit speaks to me and I will obey. Holy Spirit lead me. And I will obey. Holy Spirit, direct me. And I will obey. The moment you obey, your cycle changes. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you. No new thing can manifest itself until the hold has been removed. To get to your future, you must get rid or you must let go of your past. Amen. Take out away the old way of talking. Speak faith. Amen. The old way, I can't do it. I won't make it. Well, I don't know. But you have a collaborator that can let you know. New ways of thinking. Speak by faith. Amen. Old ways of talking. Old ways of acting. Must go. Old ways of thinking. As the man think. So he is. What you do, that's what you've been thinking. What you are thinking, that's what you will do. Think positive. Amen. I said think positive. Amen. Father, we thank you. Now, God wants to do something new in your life. Believe it. Think it. Be expectant. Amen. You want to do new things in our life. In your life. In this ministry. Think it. Believe it. Act it. Glory to God. Even dance it. Praise God for it. Exalt his name for it. Think positive. You can do all things. Through Christ. You can do all things. With the collaboration. With the collaboration. Of the Holy Ghost. You can do it. You're going to make it. You are not alone. Hallelujah. Say I am making it. Not that I'm going to make it. I am making it. I am my way, on my way to greatness by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Not only you will think it, you will speak it. You think it, you speak it. You speak it, you act it. Ah. 
Sheketepe. You have anybody with faith here? You talk it. You speak it. You act it. You declare it. You prophesy it. Glory to God. Now, so number one, for new to come, you must get rid of the whole. Get rid of the whole. Because God wants to do something new in our lives. God wants to do something new in our family. God wants to do something good in our job, our business. I thank God for Pastor Dolores just getting promotion. Unannounced promotion. Amen. Trust God for ownership. I say trust God for ownership. Those are the new things God wants to do in this dispensation. We should expect a greater relationship with God. That should be our false expectation of the things that God wants to do. If there's no change, the new will not come. So one of the things God wants to do and what we have to do, a greater relationship with God. Can I hear amen? Even on the Facebook, a greater relationship with God. Also, a new and better job. I say a new and better job. God want to give you six figures. God want to give you seven figures. God want to change your figures. He's able to do it. And he's going to do it. Hallelujah. He want to take you to another level. Come on, expect it. Come on, think it. Come on, speak it. Come on, act it. Come on, believe it. And it shall be done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A greater relationship with God. A greater relationship with the Holy Spirit. Get to a point you talk to the Holy Spirit. You talk to the Holy Spirit and He's giving you direction. Holy Spirit is giving you instruction. Hallelujah. Relationship with the Father. Relationship with the Son. And relationship with the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody give me a loud amen. Come on, somebody give me a loud amen. I'm telling you, when you move closer to God, a greater relationship with God, everything about you will begin to change. Hallelujah. Even your enemy will want God, they will be at peace with you. Those that don't like you will be at peace with you. Not because they like you, but because you make peace with God. God ways please you. Hallelujah. When you build, oh God, I feel it. When you build a closer relationship with God, those that don't greet you will greet you. Those that don't like you will like you. They have no choice. God himself, he will make them to like you. He will make them to bow down to you. You are not doing it, but God will make them. Not that they want to do it, but God will make them. When you build, oh God, I thank you. When you build a closer relationship with God, before you call, it will hear. While you are yet speaking, it will answer. Your prayers will be answered. Hallelujah. That's the new thing God wants to do. Hallelujah. You won't look for jobs. Jobs will be looking for you. You won't look for business. Business will be knocking at your door because your way please the Lord. If your way please the Lord he will give you desire of your heart. Somebody say yeah. 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 A new greater relationship with God. I mean Cultivate a closer relationship with Jehovah. And all your needs will be met. You will move to a new season of greatness. A new season of blessing. I feel the Holy Ghost. Who feel the Holy Ghost here? I feel the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is here to propel us into the new season. Oh God. Oh God. A greater expect that. Start with that. A greater relationship with God. A new and better job. Opening 
a new business. Expect it. Talk it. Declare it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are we ready for this? God bringing transfer of wealth into your account for the kingdom of God. Into your account. You will be the conduit. You didn't hear me? You will be the, what? the conduit of the blessings of God. In other words, it will come through you for the kingdom of God. Can I hear amen to that? God bringing transfer of wealth to your what? Account. Also expect, we thank God this year, graduation from school. We thank God for those that graduated. Even Elisha graduated as well too. From elementary. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Next level, Elisha. Come on, Elisha, shout amen. All the people that graduated, shout amen. Come on, shout a louder amen. Buying a new home. I only get two, 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 come on. I only get three, come on. I only get four, come on. I only get five, come on. I only get six, come on. I only get seven, come on. I only get eight, come on. Buying a new home. Owning your own home. No more renting. Purchasing your home. God wants to do that in this season. If you have a small home, expect a bigger one. I give it back from glory to glory, from faith to faith. God's doing a new thing. If they ask you why, it is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Somebody say, yes, I believe it. Oh, somebody say, yes, I believe it. God is doing a new thing. I am ready for the new because the whole is gone. I've got rid of the whole. And if it's not God, hey, hold. You must go. Pass. You must go. Don't hold me down. Oh, don't hold me down. Because I'm going. I am moving to the next level. A new cycle of blessing. Come on, say that's my season. I have entered in Jesus the pioneer home. Death cancellation. Hallelujah. Death cancellation. Glory to God. Glory to God. I prophesy death cancellation in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the new season. The whole dead, you are not taking to the new. He has to cancel. I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Death cancellation. I say death cancellation. Expect it. And it shall be so. In the name of Jesus. Because the Lord is doing a new thing. Do not consider the former things. Do not remember the former thing. God is canceling all the whole debt. Credit card debts. Cancel. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody say amen. Come on, somebody say amen. Come on, say amen. Also expect God is doing new in your family. Everybody will be saved. Everybody will be saved. I declare in the name of Jesus. Everybody will be saved. Your brothers will be saved. Your sister will be saved. Your mother that are not saved will be saved. Your father will be saved. Everybody will be saved. Even all your friends, because they are your friends, they will be saved in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord, the Lord is doing a new thing. Everybody around you must be saved. I declare in the name of Jesus. I said they shall be saved. I said they shall be saved. I said they shall be saved. You cannot be saved and they're not saved. You are going to heaven with them. They're coming to heaven too. They are not going to hell. They're coming to heaven. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say yeah. Somebody say my family will be saved. Not only they will be saved, they will serve God. 
I said they will serve God. They will serve God. They will love the Lord. In the name of Jesus. If they ask you why everybody is getting saved, you tell them, for the Lord is doing a new thing. I have entered a new season. In the name of Jesus. 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 They are going to be saved. Hallelujah. I am expectant. You have to be expectant. You need to pray for them. And call them into the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 The whole family must be saved. As for me and my house. You have to declare it. As for me and my house. We'll be saved. We will serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Start declaring right now. Because you are going to the new season. You want to bring them into the new. They oh God. The new of relationship we call. Yeah. Yeah. I said they will be saved. I said they must be saved. In the name of Jesus. You cannot be saved and they are not safer. Drag them into the kingdom. Bring them into the kingdom. Oh, I feel the anointing. Oh, I feel the anointing. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. Not only that, there will be new miracles. The old miracle is gone. I said the old miracle. We thank God for the old miracle. We give glory to God for the old miracle. But God is doing. Oh God, I feel like preaching. I said God is doing a new thing. Say Lord, I thank you for the old miracle. I bless your name for the old miracle. Lord, I'm expecting a new miracle. Because a new season. I've entered a new season. So do new miracle. Miracle that I've never seen before. A new miracle. Something different. Something unique. Do it all now. In the name of Jesus. Not only miracle, but signs and wonder. Signs and wonder. Begin to happen. Begin to happen. Not only through the apostle, not only through the prophet, but through you, through you, through me. Say through me, say through me. New miracle begin to happen through me, through me. Signs and wonder begin to happen. New me, because I have entered the new, new, new miracle, new. Th- Miracle, new miracle, new miracle, new miracle, new signs and wonder. If you believe, shout, shout. I believe and I shout. I'm expectant and I shout. Yeah, yeah, somebody help me to shout. Yeah. I'm shouting my way into the new. Bye bye, hold. Bye bye. I'm moving into my future because my future is brighter. Say, Lord, I thank you for the hold because you use the hold to prepare me, to purify me, to purge me, and to send me into my future. I'm marching out. Yeah. 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 I hear the alarm. The alarm is blowing. Alarm is blowing. Come to the new. Enter the new. Oh God, and thank you. Oh God, and thank you. I can hear the sound of new. I can hear the sound of new miracles, of new healings, of new deliverance. I thank you. I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I bless you. I thank you. I promise I will obey you. Holy Spirit, 
instruct me. Holy Spirit, direct me. And I will obey. So I can enter new cycle. New cycle. Come on, somebody give him praise for the new. Thank you for the new. Thank you for the new. Rapapa sekete. Repepe ketele. Repepe ketele. This year is a year of manifestation. Every prophetic word that been released must manifest. This year must manifest in the name of Jesus. That will be the sign of the new. Uh, as a sign of the new. Sign of the new. Everywhere they've rejected me, they're going to call me back and accept me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every door that has been shut, they will begin to open. The Bible says, He that have the key of David. He that have the key of David. That he that have the key of David. He that have the key of David. He that have the key of David. Jesus is the one that have the key of David. He is the son of David. He that have the key of David. That open doors that no man can shut. Doors of new season. Doors of blessings. Doors of prosperity. Doors of greater relationship with God. Yeah. Yeah! Ah, Jacob! Yeah! Yeah! Oh God! I'm dancing my way to the new season. My second. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Father, I feel you. Come on, somebody give him praise. Come on. Thank the originator of the new cycle. God is the originator of the new season. He has originated it upon your life. Come on, give him praise. 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 Come on, praise the originator. Originator of the new cycle. In the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to prophesy the new that you are expecting. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you. 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 Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I bless you. Somebody give him praise. Yes. Yes. Give it to God. Give it to originator. Originator of the new. Originator. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh God, I see I'm more for you though. That's just number one. Can I continue? Oh God, I feel you Lord. Father, I feel you now. I can see the new. I sense the new. I see the new. I sense the new. I can hear the sound of new. My five senses, even I smell it. We are moving into the new. In the name of Jesus. Because God has originated the new. I said the new, new relationship, greater relationship with God. I said greater, greater relationship with God. New job, better job. New businesses, hallelujah, is doing it now. Can you see it? If you want to enter, do not remember the former thing. Or consider the old thing. For God is doing a new thing. Somebody shall new. That new. 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 Hallelujah. New. I intentionally wear a new sneakers today. Because God is doing a new thing. 
is new and is new. For the Lord has done it. Oh, and oh, let's give him praise. He has done it. He has done it. The only thing. Oh, God. Four ways. Number one. For the new to come, you must get rid of the old. It's a must. It's a must. You cannot enter the new with the old. That's what Paul said, brethren. I do not count myself to have apprehended. But one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind first and reaching forward to the things which are ahead. No new things can manifest until the whole has been removed. To go to your future, you must let go of the past. Past of what? We have thinking, acting, and talking. Talk faith. Even though you can't see it. Talk it. Amen. It's a word I used one time. That faith is not you can't see it but you know it. Faith is the unknown. Not the unseen. Are you hearing me? You know it. Faith is the known, not the unseen. Are you hearing me? Now, let's go quick to number two. I got to stop. What are you doing? Ooh. Number two. Examine yourself. Let's go back to number one. What is number one? Even though I want to preach, but I have to teach. Is that right? Number one. For new to come, you must get rid of the for new to come, you must get rid of the old. Now, number two, you must examine yourself. You must, it's a must also, examine yourself. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 13.5. All right. Are we there? Second Corinthians 13 5. Let's di display it on the screen. Very important. He said, Examine yourself as to whether you are in faith. Check yourself. Don't condemn yourself, but check yourself. To see if you are in faith. Test yourself. That shall not examine other people. And that shall not test other people. Let's focus on our word, self. Amen. Can we say self? Can we say self? Examine yourself. Because if you've been going through the same cycle for many years, something is wrong. That's what I have to teach. I can't just preach. Are you hearing me? The same cycle. 2020, 2015. I mean, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. The same thing. Something is wrong. Amen. If you don't examine yourself, you will know it. And guess what? You will continue to go through the same thing. Look at what the Bible is saying. Examine yourself as whether you are, you are in faith. Test yourself. Do you not know yourself? Some folks don't know themselves. That Christ, that Jesus Christ is in you. Unless indeed you are disqualified. What does that mean? We need to make an a self evaluation. Self 
evaluation and meditate on our ways. Check yourself. Not for condemnation. We want to change the whole cycle. Because if you don't change the whole cycle of doing things, guess what? You will remain the same. Uh, you heard me. We need to make a, 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 what? a self-evaluation, meditation on our ways. You can't ex expect to know what to change if you don't evaluate yourself. You can know. You will know. And never assume that you are always right. Oh my God. That's what I have to teach. Never. Never. Please, I'm begging you. Never assume that everything is fine. I'm always right. God is the only one that is always right. Please, examine yourself. How come I keep on going through the same cycle every year, every year, every year? We will celebrate at 31st. Hallelujah. God is doing a new thing, but we enter the new year. It's the same thing. Please, examine yourself. We need to make a self-evaluation and meditate with our way. Our ways. We cannot expect to know what to change if we don't evaluate ourselves. That will only lead to a repeated cycle. Therefore, it is necessary to go to God. Go to the Holy Spirit. Do you know sometimes you might be doing something wrong? You don't even know it. You don't even know it. Even your friends that are with you don't even know it. But I've learned, people that are very close to you, they don't see much. I'm going to say a little bit. But the best person that can help you to evaluate yourself is the Holy Spirit. Come on, can we say Holy Spirit? Can we say Holy Spirit? You go to God. If you come to me, I don't know. I don't know everything. But God knows. To God, is anything I'm not doing wrong? I want to enter the new. And I've learned, in order for me to enter the new, I have to correct some things of old. I can't keep on doing what I, I used to do last year and do it this year and expect a change. Are you hearing me, church? No, this is not a big condemnation. It's all of us. Amen. So therefore, it is necessary to go to God and ask him, what have I done right? And what have I done wrong? Don't only ask him what you have done right. What have I done right? And what have I done wrong? Why am I keep on repeating the same cycle? Reveal to me, Lord. Holy Spirit, reveal to me. Because I want to enter the new. I want to ask the Holy Spirit, what has stood in my way for my divine purpose? What it is, Lord? How come I can't enter the new for all this time? So examine yourself and never assume that you've done everything right. Talk to the Holy Spirit. What am I doing right? And what am I doing wrong? When the Holy Spirit reveals, guess what you do? You obey, you enter a new season. Ah, I have to stop. Number three. Ah, can we continue next week? You must change your heart. You must change your heart. Let's go quick. Ezekiel 36, 26. It's good. I want to finish it this week, today. So give me a few more minutes, five more minutes, so that we can work on this all this week. Is that okay, church? Almost finished. Almost finished. 
you must change your heart. Let's go to Ezekiel 36, 26. Can we read together? One, two, three, read. Amen. You guys are all good readers. And everybody say, Amen. God say, I will give you a new heart. And put a new spirit within you. That's when change is going to occur. <laughs> That's how change is going to occur. Because if your heart is not changed and you don't have a new spirit, you continue to do the same way. A new heart. I will put it. A new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone. Out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. You see that? A heart of flesh. The first thing you will do, you will do what? Take out the old one. Take it out. Cut it out. Eradicate it. And put it new. When God do that, everything about you has changed. The way you think will be different. The way you talk will be different. Hallelujah. Your focus will be God, God, God. You will stop seeking material things and start seeking God things, spiritual things. And material things will begin to chase you. They will begin to look for you. Remember, in the kingdom, we don't chase gift. We chase the giver of the gift. Blessing will begin to come. I hear what I'm saying? I have learned most of the things that I plan I want, I didn't get it. But God gave me something new. Something better than what I want. Oh no, you didn't get it. What I'm planning to have, I didn't have it. I want this. I didn't get it. But God give me something different, better, nicer, bigger, powerful, more that I want. <laughs> so I have learned now not to plan. Now I have learned to go, say, God, what do you have for me? What do you want me to do? No, God, I want this. I want this. I want that. Uh -uh. God, what do you have in store for me? I know you have something. Whatever God gives you is better than what you are planning for. It's better. It's bigger. It's nicer. It won't destroy you. It will elevate you. It will empower you. It will equip you. It will not finish. Generational. You will, oh God, can I talk to you? You will pass it on to your children. Father, help us. Say, Lord, what do you have for me? Lord, lead me. Bless me. As I enter new season, everything that you have ordained for me, let them begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, are you sure I want to say this? Today, I put my own agenda on the side. And I want your own plan. I want your own blessing. I want your own blessing. I want your own house that you have for me. A new job. That you have for me. Blessings that you have for me. Come on, someone say amen. God changed people's heart before he changed their season. Please. That should be your prayer. Lord, change my heart. 
renew, give me a new spirit in me. Because if your heart does not change, He changes first. God is able to change you. Say, Lord, change my heart. Give me a new spirit so I can move to the season of blessings. God changed people's heart before changing their season. However, there's something that prevents us from changing our heart. Subconsciousness. Believing that we are doing the right thing. Subconsciousness. What does that mean? We believe we are doing the right thing, then there's no reason for change. Subconsciousness. We believe I'm doing the right thing. If you believe you are doing the right thing, change will not come. The thing is to say, Lord, reveal to me what I'm doing right and reveal to me what I'm doing wrong. Never assume that you are doing right. Please, with God. You can do that to me. I don't know. But with God. Because if you believe you are doing right, that means you don't have no reason for. No reason for. Then you don't have no reason for change. Then there's no new. Are you with me, sir? Subconsciousness. I am right. I got it. I know it. Subconsciousness. Believing that we are doing the right thing. Or that we are right. For that reason, we should never assume that we are right. Please don't do that with God. Nobody doing stuff for 15 years, 20 years. You can be doing it wrong. You can be doing it wrong. You might be doing the wrong job for years. You might be in the ministry for years. Just submit yourself to God today. Say, Lord, I want to enter the new season. What am I doing right and what am I doing wrong? I want a new change. Give me a new heart. I'm telling you, God is waiting for you. I got it. I got it. I know some people, they are functioning in the wrong ministry. In the wrong ministry for years and years. And yet, God even called them to do what they are doing. There's some of you that say, you know, if you want to do something, I come ask. When I see that person, I hear this thing. No, don't look to what to do. Ask God, give me that thing. Whichever one you give to me, that one I will do. Let me change. Subconsciousness. Amen? Never assume that we are right. The best thing is to turn to the Holy Spirit. Come on, someone say Holy Spirit. I thank God we are teaching Holy Spirit on Sunday. Holy Spirit is our comforter. Holy Spirit is the revealer. Holy Spirit teaches us all things. Holy Spirit is the administrator of the glory of God. Holy Spirit is the third member of Trinity. Holy Spirit is to us what Jesus was to the disciple. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, are you hearing? Is the breath of God. Holy Spirit is the revealer. He teaches us all things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Holy Spirit, He reveals, He directs, He instructs, He collaborates with us. Holy Spirit, help us, Lord. Best thing is to turn to the Holy Spirit and ask Him what area we need to change. Please, if there's no change of the whole, there is no new. And the best person I will tell you is what? Holy Spirit. Even if, I can, if you cannot hear from God, He will give you a dream. If you don't understand your dream, we will interpret it. Or go to the Holy Spirit, interpret. Holy Spirit, give you confirmation. 
Can I tell you a story? Can I tell you a story? I like And the Lord spoke to Pastor Masha that we should go to Australia, Sydney. That there's a divine connection in Sydney. So, I went online to check the ticket. And I saw the amount. And the distance is so far. We're going to fly from here to California six hours. And from California to Sydney, it's about 16. Once going 16, going to 14. It was so far. But the far was not a problem when I saw the price. No, it was economy we were flying. I just mistakenly checked business class. I saw the price. Guess what I did? I called them. I said, there's a typo. I'm serious. I saw the person. Yeah. I don't know. We're not even flying business class. I was just you know, browsing around. I said, yay. Yeah. For one person, I called them. I said, that was a typo. That's a mistake. They say, sir, that is not. <laughs> nah. So I see economy. Economy is not good. Guess what I did? I prayed. I said, Lord. If you want us to go to Australia, give me confirmation. Honest. I pray. Speak to me too. I want to be honest. Speak to me also. Guess what happened? The next day, I got a call. A friend of a big ministry in California, evangelist, Bobby Richie. He just called me up. He had to call me about. He said, hey, man of God, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing very well. He said, well, guess what? I said, what? He said, I'm in your backyard. I literally looked to the backyard. Because the guy live, he lived where? In California. He's an evangelist, you know, traveling ministry, traveling all over the world. He called me, I'm in your backyard. I literally turned and looked back. He said, no, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm in, um, uh, where's that? Virginia Beach. I'm with a hill song. They call it Sister Church. They're having, I didn't know, he mentioned their name, I didn't know it was me. He said, they're having a conference. I was there, even yesterday, I was playing golf with the pastor of the church. And when we are talking, I was telling him about you and your wife, that you guys are in Maryland. How far is Maryland from here? I said, where do you say you are? He said, Virginia Beach. He said, oh, Sammy, please come. I want you and your wife to come. I want you to meet the pastor of that church. He said, yes, please go. Please come. I want you to come the next day. I haven't seen him in a while. I said, guess what? We're going to go see who? Bobby Richie. Get the sign there. Got, in the next day, we got in the car. Phew, four hours. We went to the service. Straight to the service. Service star, oh, awesome worship. He's so good. Have you seen them? But they, they don't, their name is not Hilton. They have another name for it. But they came out of Hilton. So we are there worshiping. And uh, Bobby, he said, Yo, Sean, can you get me? We sat in front, close to the pastor there. After the service, they just take the pastors, you know, we we'll go to the back where to eat. We are sitting. God is a big change in our life already. Before we went, we went to his house. Yeah, we went to the south to eat. So, why we were there, guess what happened? The pastor came to me. He said, Bobby was talking about you guys yesterday. I was looking forward to meet you guys. He said, guess what? He said, we will be traveling to Australia in the month of July. 
But every year they do it around July the 4th. We travel to Australia in the month of July. I want you and your wife to come with us. I look at her. I almost want to say, did you call them and tell them? But no, that's how the Holy Spirit works. When you have a confirmation, it will give you confirmation. If you get it wrong, you want God to confirm it because God wants you to move into a new season to obey him. At that time, I was like, this is God. This is God. This is God. It's real. If you are not sure, don't just rush to do it. Pray and ask God to give you confirmation that it is good. I'm going to stop. Can we continue? I want you to pray. Because when this season continues, it should be new every Friday. Number four. You must repent. Actually, repentance means change. Change from the old and go into the new. You must repent. Write this down. Second Chronicle 7.14. You must repent. You must repent. If there's anything you've done wrong, disobey God, you must repent to enter the new. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Turn. You see the word turn? It means what? Change. Change from your old. Change. Then I will hear from heaven. All change begins with a repentant heart. Please quote. Write it down. All change begins with a repentant heart. Repentant opens the door for a new season. Hallelujah. Repentance opens the doors for a new season to come. It is important to remember that God is a gentleman. He will never enter where he is not invited. God is a gentleman God will never. This is important, church, please. God, he will never enter where he is not invited. In that sense, repentance is a man invitation to God intervention. God is a gentleman. He will never enter. He will not force his way in. Enter where he's not invited. In that sense, repentance is man's invitation for God to intervene in those areas of our life. Especially those areas that we cannot humanly change. There's some things in our life we cannot humanly change it. We cannot change it by ourselves. Nobody can help us to change it. What happens when you repent, you open the door for God to come in, to intervene and make those changes. Please note that. And make those changes. It will intervene. If you don't repent, guess what? It will not come. It will not come. But when you repent, you open the door of your heart. Say, God, come on in. I need help. I tried to do it my way. It ain't working anymore. Even if it was never worked. Come in. It will intervene. 
and he will make those changes. Amen. So repentance is what? It's man's invitation to God. Can we say that? Repentance. Can we say that again? Repentance is man's invitation to God. Amen. For God to intervene in our area. If we need divine intervention, start with forgiveness of sin. Amen. God bless you. Can we start on our feet? We're going to start with sinner's prayer. We're going to do this quick. I am done. Number one, let us stand. We want a new season. I will start. We start with the sinner's prayer. If anyone here that don't have Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, if anybody, anybody here is saved, but let us pray. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you. Heavenly Father, I ask you to forgive me of my sin. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and stay. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the finished work of the cross. So, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me all my sin. Change my heart. Give me your spirit. Give me your spirit and your power. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and stay by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, help me to break the cycle of hold. Help me to break all cycle of causes. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And help me to always obey you. So that I might enter a new season. Or enter a new cycle. Heavenly Father, I repent today. Anything I have done, anything I have done that opened this, the old cycle of causes, and I ask you to forgive me. And I repent for disobeying, disobeying, disobeying you in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, Help me to obey. Holy Spirit, show me which area I need to correct. Holy Spirit, show them to me so I can make the change. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you reveal it to me, Holy Spirit, I will obey and I will make change. In the mighty name of Jesus. So that I may enter the new season of blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. A new season of greater relationship with God. A new season of new things in my life. So Heavenly Father, I thank you. I bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Come on, somebody shout amen. Come on, somebody shout amen. Come on, somebody shout amen. Come on, say hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling you, follow this instruction. Start today. There'll be change in your life. Humble yourself and ask God to show you what you are doing good and what you are doing wrong. Don't only ask for wrong because you, want, you don't want to change the good that you're doing. You continue with the good. Lord, I'm doing wrong. Show me. Way to give those on, on Facebook watching all over the world. Amen. Ways to give is on the screen. Can we point the camera to that? Media, we can point the camera to ways to give so they can see, so they too can partake of giving and receiving. Amen. Glory to God. Also, church, let's give. Amen. Let us give our tithe, our offering. Amen. And if you feel moved to give a seed for new season of blessing, if you see the Holy Spirit is preaching you, nudging you, how do you feel? You know, it nudges you. 
Amen. Trust me, the devil won't tell you to give. <laughs> if you want to give, feel to give, it's okay. Holy Spirit is leading you. So let's give our tithe and offering. And God will bless you. Amen. Oh God, Father in heaven, my God. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Actually, I, I hear the Lord saying that this, this actually is an answer to somebody's prayer. They were checking out themselves and they're like, mm, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something. There's something. God said, this is an answer to your prayer that you've been praying that something is wrong and you're in the same cycle. You're just, it just, just almost like you're stuck in a rut. Amen. Wow. God, I thank you. God, you're so amazing. You're so amazing. You're so amazing. Whoever said all the time, you need to say it again. All the time. Amen. Oh God. Father, I just thank you right now. I thank you for God for 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 I call it divine fuel, my God. A, a, a food, my God, feeding our spirits. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, giving us divine instructions. Ah, Razaka. And even some of us, you are uh, 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 intervene, my God, by way of divine intervention, my Lord. Uh, oh, daughter, you will not continue right here. Oh, son, you will not continue in that state. Uh, my God, my God, uh, because your God is so much, so greater, so bigger, my God, than this situation. Uh, oh, hallelujah. My God, you will witness other crossing over. My God, but guess what? Oh, glory to God, you will also cross over as well and receive the newness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, glorify yourself, my God, as we take heed to Marabazoka. Mm, as we take heed to the instruction that you have given us. Father, once again, glorify yourself in the midst of us. We give you glory, honor, and praise in no other name but Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen and amen.